Welcome everyone to the AMP 6 hour enduro for 2019. The race is currently underway as we've got 25 teams battling it out for top honors. Let's check in with Team Driver Z to see where they are at this stage of the race. After having a great stint in Kart 17, I made up another 9 positions putting us at P5. Then Matthew got in Kart 30 and he made another spot up so we're currently sitting P4. As I jump in the cart for the team's fifth stint, let's see what I can do. So by this stage of the race, Driver's Ed is looking really strong. I had a great stint in cart 17, followed by Matthew in cart 30. We've worked our way all the way up to P4. After I had pre-weighted, I noticed while I was in the pits waiting for Matthew to come in, I saw cart 5 was available, so I wanted to try it out. At the time, I didn't know Kart 5 was going to be that great. Yes, it was fast on track in my previous stints, but there were also several other carts that were strong. So this was a good opportunity to test it for myself. Also coming out of the pits, I had several clean laps, probably around 5 to 10 laps with no traffic. So this gave me a real good opportunity to get settled in the cart. on a group of carts in the last corner. I slow up to see which way they're gonna go. Oh, yep, he's spun.
what I discovered was that this cart really pulls in the corners and is really fast on the straights. I really enjoyed getting used to it and I felt very confident in the cart. This was also around the same time where I noticed that my radio was starting to come loose from my suit. So as you can see, I'm looking down constantly trying to get it situated again. I'm still having issues with the radio. The clip is coming loose from my suit and is bouncing around. It's not a good situation because now my mind is focused on the radio and not driving. Oh, we got a stalled cart, a stalled cart up ahead, waving arms. Taking these bumps like this, the radio was really bouncing around. At one point I looked down and noticed that the radio was actually off my suit and in between my legs. Thankfully it didn't bounce out of the cart, but I was really worried at the time. got a waving yellow flag. The stalled cart has been pulled off the track and there's a local yellow. That's a shame for that team as that cart has failed. Whoops, going a little wide on that exit and almost getting off into the grass. So fast forward a couple of laps because there was no real action on the track. As you can see, I'm still dealing with the radio. It keeps bouncing around and I'm super worried that it's gonna fly out of the cart. At some point I keep sitting on it. Every time I take a turn or go over a bump, the radio bounces around and I was super worried that it was gonna like slide out from under my leg. Thankfully it didn't, but this created another issue because it was not attached to my suit and was further down, it was pulling on the cord and really starting to tighten my earbuds, limiting the amount of head movement I could do. Thankfully, I could still move my helmet left and right, but moving it up and down was starting to become an issue.
So I learned from my last stint and that I was not super aggressive this time around. I knew this card had pace and I knew I was going to be able to get around on the straights, so I just took my time and waited for the right area to pass. So fast forward a few laps because there was no real action on the track. There's a couple of carts ahead, so let's see if I can get up there and get around them. I loved coming to this last corner because there was a group of people that had a camper out there and they had set up their tents and chairs and they were grilling out hot dogs and hamburgers and they stayed there the entire race. It made me feel like I was actually competing in a car race and they had set up their area at that turn to watch the race all day. It was really a thrill to see. Well, look at that, cart three and cart 17 together on the track. What are the odds that they found their way around to meet each other again? So fast forward a few laps because there was no real action on the track. There were a lot of people out here watching the race today. We had photographers, we had another group of people over here by the balcony turn. They set up chairs to watch the race, so it was really great to see a lot of people out supporting karting and supporting endurance racing. So this stint was actually not that bad. There wasn't really too much action on the track. It was really just lapping traffic and trying to catch up to the positions ahead that we needed to pass. Other than this insane move I'm about to make, there really wasn't much drama out there. Coming up on a big group of carts here, this actually leads up to the move of the race for me. I was originally going to pass them one by one, but it actually turned out to be one insane mega move. Come 
coming around this last corner, I get a little bit off line, and so I'm having to get this momentum back. This heavy guy lets this guy through, so I follow him. So there's a cart right there I pass. This other cart goes really wide, so I go really wide. We pass this slow cart right here. I'm on the rumble strips. I have enough momentum to get up the hill. I pass one, two carts right there. Finally, this last guy, he keeps looking for me. I go wide, but then I undercut. This cart's got great momentum. So here I am charging down to the kink. I got the fast line. I move over into the kink, and that was amazing. I passed six carts within two corners, and everybody on the radio, Jonathan and Matthew, my dad, they were hooting and hollering. I bet it was pretty amazing to see from the balcony. He's almost losing it. Oh man, that was almost a collision. I don't think we touched though. So right now, driver's ed is sitting P4 and we're trying to track down third place in all this lap traffic.
passing two more carts up the hill. I'm on the outside. I'm going to undercut. I get one. I tuck right back in for that draft down the back straight. 26 was actually a pretty good cart too. We didn't have it during this race, but it was also pretty good out there. There were a lot of fast carts out there, but there were also some duds, and 26 looked like it was pretty good. On the inside for the pass, and he gives me a bump as a bonus. Thanks for pushing me down the straight. Not sure why I'm shaking my head here. I think it may be because I was trying to see how much movement I could get with my earbud cord pulling on my ears. Thankfully, I'm able to move it left and right, and up and down was starting to become a little bit more of an issue. So my head was kind of limited in the amount of movement I could do, but thankfully I didn't really need to do that much. Fast forward just a couple of laps because there was no real action on the track. Now we can get back to lapping more traffic in the hunt for third.
sneaking up the inside on the off camber turn, he sees me and goes just a little wide to give me some room. Another clean pass. Waiting for the right moment, getting right on his tail, carrying the momentum to the last corner. Late break, get up beside him. So the other cart let him by, but I pop out right behind him and we go three wide into the last corner. Okay, fast forward several laps later because there was no real action on the track. Now we're back to passing more traffic. And by now I think P3 made a pit stop, making us third overall. I was still out there making consistent laps with the fastest card on track.
Fast forward a few laps later because there was no real action on the track. At this point, P2 also pitted at some point, making us second overall. Getting a good run up the hill on these carts, slicing and dicing, and passing all three right before the king. So I've come up on the race leader, Jim Goodlett, for Team Slyways. I want to make sure I get around him cleanly. So I'm biding my time so I can find the right moment. Okay, I think this is it. I'm getting right on this tail. I'm gonna slide right up the inside. No pun intended. Here I go, for the pass. As soon as I passed him, Jonathan got on the radio and said, congratulations, you've just passed the leader. We are now on the same lap. And it kind of devastated me a little bit because I thought that was the pass for the lead. So now I had to go all the way back around the track to get the lead. But that's okay, it gave me the right momentum to charge hard around the track.
doing a quick earbud cord test. Just shaking my head to see how much slack I have in my earbud cord, and I'm all good. Oh, I was coming in a little too hot and tried to brake a little bit too quickly and looped it. I was so mad because all that momentum I was carrying, I lost. That's okay because this cart has great momentum and I can easily get back up on pace. Fast forward just a little bit later in the stint, still making good lap times. Coming up on a big group of carts here. He goes a little wide and waves me by. This was actually a really sweet move here for me. In the draft, get around one cart, get in the other draft, get around the other, and break in the zone for the pass. That was one of my favorite moves right there. Coming up on two carts and passing them before the break zone, but still getting in their slipstream. Trying to bunny hop up the hill just to get that little momentum so I can get closer to first. Fast forward a few laps later because there was no real action on the track and I am up on another big group of carts. 
I love doing clean laps and having no traffic, but I love seeing a big group of carts ahead because I want to get up there as fast as I can and race with them. There's nothing more fun than getting up in the thick of it, moving around, trying to figure out how to get around them. It's just awesome. Coming up on this corner, late break to get that pass. So by now we are definitely sitting P2. The cart that's just up ahead is the leader. Trying to fight my way through this lap traffic in cart 28 so I can get up to the leader. Maybe he heard on the radio that this was the battle for the lead. He waves me by. Now it's just me and the leader. Here we go, coming up nice and tidy around the last corner, get a good run off this straight, and now it's charging hard to get this lead. This is for the lead right here. What was great about this to me was I've never been able to make an on-track pass before for the lead. I've never even led in an endurance race. But here we go, up the hill, around the outside. I'm wide, he's on the inside. We're still wide. This is it, this is it. Tuck in that draft. I know I've got it because he's in car three. So I'm just gonna wait for my time to get around him on the straight. Make sure I'm in the clear to move over for the brake zone and make the turn. Team Driver Z is now leading the AMP six hour enduro. How awesome is that? We've never led an endurance race before and this is such a great feeling to make an on track pass versus passing in the pits, but now we are leading the race and it's such a thrill. remember Jonathan, Matthew, and my dad hooting and hollering on the radio that we were leading the race. It was just a phenomenal feeling. As I come around the balcony, if you look up top, they're all shaking their hands and pointing to me and saying what a good job I did. It was awesome. Because now we were leading the race, they were going to leave me out for as long as possible. This really scared me right here. You may have to rewind it. As I was coming around the last corner, out of the corner of my eye, there's this racing go-kart with an orange flag flying down the parking lot. And it really scared me thinking there was another cart on track. Oh, well, we've got a yellow flag. There seems to be some type of debris on the racetrack. Not really sure what it is, but the marshals are investigating. If you look to the right, you'll see some debris on track heading down to the kink.
So the debris that was right before the kink is now gone. So something's definitely on the track. got a yellow flag at the last corner. It looks like a marshal is picking up something off the track. Yeah, there's definitely debris on the track. Not really sure what it is, and it has all the marshals concerned. There's a marshal down there picking up something that's just off the exit of the hairpin. I wonder what it could be. There's one, there's another one. Somebody's dropping stuff all over the track. We got a lot of marshals on track trying to figure out who it is. If you look just up over the crest, you can see the debris.
right, we got some action here. What's going on? These two carts up ahead. Looks like one cart is pointing at the other cart to the marshals. He goes around that cart. Let me get up here and see what's going on. As I get back here and turn six and seven, on the back of this guy's cart, something doesn't look right. He's got a weight vest that has actually come out of the seat and hanging on the back of the cart, and it's dropping weight pellets all over the track. It's a real concern for the marshals, because what if you hit one of those weight pellets? There's a cart that spun. Did he hit one of those weight pellets? Oh man, we got another one spun in the hairpin. Did he hit a weight pellet? This is wild. Coming in too hot and I bump him into the brake zone. Thankfully nobody spun out and everybody was okay. As we get up the hill I let him know it was my fault and that I was sorry. So I was out much longer than this as we pushed it to about an hour and 30, really stretching the fuel limit on these carts. We were in the lead and this cart was so good we just wanted to stay out as long as we could. However, the GoPro battery did not catch the end of the stunt. But I'm leading the race. We're leading the AMP 6 hour enduro. So that about does it for this stint so far. Team Driver's Ed started P11, dropped down to 24, and we've made our way back to leading overall. Matthew's about to jump in for his stint, and then I'm gonna finish the race out. Are we gonna win the race? Stay tuned and find out. I'm gonna be uploading another short video next week of my last stint, so you have to see how it turns out. Also, please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the track.